Good evening, everyone. I'd like to welcome you to the David Letterman Show. My name is Dave, and I'd like you to help welcome my guest this evening. Back from an untimely death, please put your hands together for Mr. Henry Knox. Hi, Dave. So glad to be here. So, Henry, I know you are pretty famous, but let's get to know you a little better. Sure, Dave. I was born July 25, 1750, in Boston, Massachusetts. I was the seventh of ten children in my family. My parents, Mary and William, were Irish immigrants. Very interesting, Henry. Is there anything else you would like to share from your childhood? Well, it was tough. My dad died when I was just nine years old. He was only 50 and was a merchant captain. Wow, that is tough. Did you stay in school? For a little while, but I had to leave Boston Latin Grammar School three years after he died. What did you do when you dropped out of school, Henry? I became an apprentice for a bookbinder. Tough break, but by the time I was 21, I owned my own bookstore called the London Bookstore. I loved to read and read a lot about military topics, specifically artillery. Pretty impressive for such a young man. I guess you were really interested in the military by this time. That's right, Dave. I became involved with the Sons of Liberty and was at the Boston Massacre. After that, I joined the Boston Grenadier Corps. Busy guy. Did you have any time for a personal life? Absolutely. I married Lucy Flucker in 1774. She was the daughter of the Royal Secretary of the Province of Massachusetts. Her parents did not really want us to marry each other. Did you have any children? We did, Dave. We had 13, but only three lived into adulthood. Sad, Henry. What was next in your military career? One highlight was when I volunteered for service at the Battle of Bunker Hill, which is when I met George Washington. He was impressed with my abilities. He appointed me as an artillery colonel in the Continental Army. That's incredible. You knew George Washington? Yes, we actually became good friends. He was not much of a conversationalist, so he relied heavily on my wife, Lucy, and me to entertain at the many social functions we all attended. My daughter, Lucy, attended school with Martha's granddaughter, Eleanor. I heard G.W. was a serious, reserved man. That's true, but a great man. How else did you serve? In the winter of 1775 and 1776, I was sent to the recently captured Fort Ticonderoga to remove 60 tons of cannon and mortar left by the departing British. Remarkably, my men and I transferred the artillery on oxen-drawn sleds over 300 miles of snow and ice to Washington's waiting army. I was promoted to Brigadier General. After those things got tough for us and we had to retreat, we were badly outnumbered by the Redcoats. Bummer, Henry, but I heard you helped to create a national arsenal. True, it was in Springfield, Massachusetts. It produced new arms and repaired old pieces. It was a major produce of American weapons for almost two centuries. Henry, is it true that you were also the commander at West Point? Yes, it is. I was at West Point as a major general until the British fully withdrew from New York City in late 1783. Was that your last service to the Army? Well, I thought it was. I resigned from the Army in 1784, but the next year I was back in public service as the Secretary of War for the Articles of Confederation government. I continued with the same position in George Washington's new government until I finally retired in 1795. I helped to create a permanent navy, a national militia, and the contraction of coastal fortifications. What a career and great service and innovation to our country. Did you ever fully retire? Kind of. I spent my time in our home in Tom Thomaston, Maine, but I dabbled in a number of businesses, ventures, lumber, shipbuilding, stock raising, and brick manufacturing. What a great life. How did you die? Sad, really. I died on October 25, 1806. I was only 56. I accidentally swallowed a chicken bone that became lodged in my intestines. It caused an infection known as peritonitis. Henry, so glad you could be with us. Henry, so glad you could be with us today. You will always be remembered as an energetic 300-pound self-taught soldier. Your rise to Major General is very impressive. Tell Lucy and the kids hello.